Hello, welcome. I've got a box of quarters here. I'm gonna open them up, see if we got a huntable box or if these are brand new. I just got these from the bank yesterday, but I need to find out if I can hunt them or not. Oh, we do have circulated quarters. Awesome. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, third roll here. Got a... 20, 2021 Washington Crossing to Delaware. This one has a die chip on the hat. Well, it's a pretty good sizable die crack on the back side of the hat here. Before the die chip fell out. Um, it does look pretty interesting. I figured I would share. I do come across the die chips in the hat. At least one per box I go through, if not a few of them. So that is definitely... Um, an interesting uh, sized die chip there. I uh, figured I would share. Row number seven. Got a double die on this. Harper's Ferry 2016. In these windows here, you can find all sorts of double dies. Um, this is one of the fun ones to look at because you can find all sorts of different ones. There's over 100, maybe you know, over 150 different ones that are listed. Um, this one has a little bit of doubling in the windows up here. And very cool. Always fun to look at these, and always fun to find something. Roll number 11, and we have a find. Unfortunately, it is covered in some really nasty stuff. This is, if you look closely, it has an S mint mark. This is a not released into circulation, or not intended for circulation, NIFC. Um, and the only place you could get this was purchasing it from the mint. And this one is caked and covered in something really nasty. I think I'm going to toss this in some uh, acetone, see if I can get some of this gunk off. Um, looks like some kind of substance. Maybe someone spilt some soda on it and it's just got some dirt caked to it. Go toss it in some acetone, see if that's, that could get some of that dirt off at least. And I could wash my hands because this is kind of nasty. And here we go, the s and Quarter. This is as cleaned as it is going to get cleaned. I mean, it's considered damaged, um, environmental damage. So whatever is on it is on it and is going to stay on it. But it is still an S and quarter, unfortunately. Um, I wish it was in better shape. On to roll 16. I got another find here on this quarter. If you look, in God we trust, the T is missing. That is because the grease that they put on the dies, filled that, and made it in an Ingottery Rust quarter. And this is the Kansas 20, uh, 2005, Kansas 2005 Ingottery Rust quarter. Very cool. That is a fun find. Okay, I'm on roll number 19, and I've come across this 2022 Sully Ride. And right here on the shoulder, you can find a few different... Um, double dies. This one has a very minor, uh, a smaller one. I've seen larger ones, but this one does look like it has a double die on the shoulder. It's been a while since I found one of these. I mean, it's been a quite a while since I've come across one of those. Um, so that's really cool. If I know which one it is, I'll add it to the, the close-up picture. But yeah, really cool find. Number 20, and we have another Harper's Ferry here. That has doubling in the windows. This one is different than the first. There's a, there's, like I said, there's over a hundred of these easily, maybe even 150 of these. So I may or may not look this up. Um, just depends on how much time I have. But still really cool to find the double dies in the windows. I think it's really cool when to find them. Second to last coin in roll 22. And I've come across these um, here and there. And this one is a very, very strong die clash. I mean, you can see it in front of Washington's face there. It looks like a big, giant nose. Really interesting, cool. Some of them you can find weaker. This one is quite strong. That is awesome, especially when you find the stronger ones. Really cool. 
All right, roll 23. I've got this, um, I've got this 2016 Fort Moultrie and here between the flag pole and the flag, there's a little bit of a die chip there. And there's a small little die chip going from the raced area with the die crack going to the soldier's hat here. It's pretty cool. It's one, I don't usually find these, so I figured I would share it. So that's a neat little find. We'll put it up here. Roll 25. We got another die chip here. 2015 Homestead. There is a die chip on the roof here. You can find die chips on both sides. And covering the full roof, you can find them on top of the window. Um, when you find them on the roof, it's called snow on the roof. And on the window, snow on the window, or bird's nest on the window. Uh, there are a ton of double dies you can find on this as well. And you can find a leaky bucket, which is a die chip down here. All kinds of fun stuff to find on these. But that is a snow on the roof um, die chip. Um, so that's pretty cool. We'll just put it in there. Nice. A little bit further down in roll 25, I got 2023. Right here behind George Washington Air, there is a little bit of a strike through right there. It is small. Um, you can find a pretty big across here, just a little bit as well. Um, it's really hard to tell, but it is a minor strike through there. This one is on the Edith Kanaka Ole quarters. It looks like there might be a little die chip here in the K as well. Die chips here in the K and A or there are any of these letters, but I see them a lot in the K and A here. Die chip on the uh, top of the mountain here. Those are quite common. Um, I don't always look for those or I don't usually look for them at all just because I see them on most of them. But the strike through on the front is a little more rare, so that's a pretty cool find. Old number 26, and we got a really cool find here. Got a 2021 George Washington crossing the Delaware. Under his wrist here, there is doubling. That is a double die. I'll put up on the picture which one it is, but that is a cool find. Um, uh, it's been a while since I started finding these. I found a couple in the last hunt, but that is really cool. I'll put it here with this one. Awesome. Well, very next coin on roll 26. We have a West Point, a little dirty in the middle there, but this is a 2019. There's no privy mark on the other side. It would be V75 on the 2020s, but that is really cool. West Point in the wild. It is a San Antonio missions. Cool. Awesome. That is an awesome find. Woohoo. We got a West Point. We'll put it over here on this end. Awesome. Last coin in roll 26. We have a Maria Tall Chief. And in the hair, you can find some die chips. There's this uh, one in here. It's probably a little on the smaller side of some of the ones I've seen, but it is often referred to as the extra feather die chip. So that is pretty cool. We'll just stack it there for now. Old 28. I've got another Sally Ride here. So it looks like it has some doubling on the collar as well. Um, I will look this up and see if I can figure out which one it is. But until then, we will add it up here. Getting close to be done with roll 28 here. And I've got another Fort Moultrie with a die chip in the between the flag and the flag poles. This one is a good size right here. Very cool. Interesting. Fun find. Roll 30. We got another 2016. Harper's Ferry with doubling in the windows. Fortunately, this coin is pretty dirty on the reverse. Um, it is circulated pretty well, uh, but that is another double die reverse find for the Harper's Ferry. Very cool. It has been a while since I've filmed the find here. We're now on roll 41. Yeah, I think it's been more than 10 rolls since I filmed anything. But we got another Harper's Ferry. Has a little bit of a tiny bit of doubling in the window. Um, this is very, very minor, but it does look like doubling. So that is another double die. One, two, three, four. It looks like we got four of them up here. Nice. I'm on roll 42. And I've got a Teddy Roosevelt 
2016. This one has a pretty nice die chip on Teddy's hat. You can find die chips on the horse's nose, on his hat, front and back. Um, there's some die clashing and a few other things you can find on these. Um, I do try to look at these. Uh, the, the die chip on the nose is pretty common, but that is a good size die chip on the front of his hat. I never usually see them there. So that was a pretty cool find. All right, so time to wrap up here. The last 20 rolls or so went pretty cold there. Um, but we did have some pretty, really cool finds. Let me zoom in on these and uh, we'll break those down. Okay, for the 2023, this is the Edith Kanakole. It has a little bit of a strike through on Washington behind us here. here. Um, this one is the one with the die clash in front of George Washington. And it's pretty strong, so that's really cool. The Ingabri Rust. Uh, 2005 Kansas quarter. And then we had four Harper's Ferry with uh, DDR in the window, one Washington with DDR under his wrist, and two DDRs on Sally Wright's shoulder here. So that's pretty cool to find those. And probably the two best finds of the hunt is the San Francisco 2018 Black Island, but it does have some gunk and stuff on the surfaces. So unfortunately, it's considered damaged, but it is still a low vintage quarter. That was not released for circulation. And the San Antonio Missions West Point. And that is going to be my pick for best find in the hunt. Really cool to still find West Points in the wild. So that is really cool. And next we have the die tip train. We have two Fort, Fort Moultries with die chips on the flag. One of them with one on the hat as well. This 2021 with this die crack up in the hat here. Pretty large die crack die chip on the roof here so that is a snow on the roof even though it's small still counts as snow on the roof we got the extra feather in Marie tall she's hair there and we have a pretty sizable die chip on teddy roosevelt's hat there um i don't usually see them on the front i usually see small ones on the back and ones in the nose but that's a pretty good one on the front of the hat so that's pretty cool okay well that is it for the finds for the box pretty fun box overall um i don't get much silver quarters from the boxes i get from the banks that i get them from um, i think i've seen one silver quarter in the past year year and a half maybe um so i never expect to see any but it would be nice to see some silver quarters from time to time but i'm still getting the west points so um can't complain about the boxes being completely dry. And there are a lot of other fun finds as well. All right. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, did you have a really cool find? Something you didn't uh, know about? Something you haven't seen before? Um, or did you just like finding and seeing me find the West Point? That, again, my favorite uh, find of the hunt is the West Point. <laughs> um, low minage, two, two million of each design only that's it so that's pretty cool all right well thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day